there were two companies competing for special printing machines. Poor market conditions have caused the larger of the two to cut sales staff's travel expenses. As a result, the number of times sales teams can visit customers and new customers has decreased significantly. Upon hearing the news, the CEO of the smaller of the two companies sensed that this was an opportunity and launched a massive marketing campaign. He met with the sales team and offered to raise fees if they sold strategically important products. In addition, a bonus was given to each salesperson whenever he brought in new customers. He then hired one of his employees to make a phone call to a customer and make an appointment with the salesperson. The small company contacted every possible customer and informed them that they were raising customer service levels and repairing machines sold by competitors. In addition, it had opted a guarantee policy without conditions and encouraged the sales team every morning. Since then, the results have been truly amazing. The CEO of the small company told employees, if our competitors did as we did, we would be ruined. We must have suffered great damage. They had money, they had customers. Now we have everything. No company wants a crisis. But there's always a crisis. For unknown reasons, a paralysis of logistics networks, a plunge in the economy, a decline in sales, a surge in raw material prices, and the risk of corporate bankruptcy can occur at any time. The important thing is how to overcome this crisis and take it as an opportunity to take a leap forward. For a successful company today, no one has experienced more than one or two major crises. But these companies have taken advantage of this crisis as an opportunity to achieve today's success. Don't just shrink from the fact that a crisis has hit you but gather the wisdom of the organization how to turn a crisis around. This is the smartest way to respond to a crisis.